Hey guys, Mike with Midwest Adventure Life. If you've been following along, you've been noticing we've had the opportunity, thanks to Nielsen Enterprises, to be driving one of these brand new Manitou boats on the Chain of Lakes here. Uh, many of you guys have seen it on the water, but we're gonna talk about something that's really cool and some new changes you can expect that were just revealed today. But we had the opportunity to tour the factory and we're gonna talk about some of the things we saw and what sets Manitou apart. So let's get going. So if you've been following along, you've, we've already done a video on the Rotex. We've already done a video on this four foot max deck. So if you haven't seen that, please check the other, uh, the links above for those footages. What we're gonna announce today is the Rotex S. What that is, is they're putting twin Rotex motors on the new Manitou pontoon boat as an option. But with it, it's gonna come a lot more features. And uh, this boat should push along just under 50 miles an hour with twin 150s giving it 300 horsepower, uh, and the boat's gonna come in just under $125,000. With the twin engines, you're gonna get one Rotex here, one Rotex here. What's gonna happen with the max deck is the max deck is gonna now be, instead of four feet, it's going to be six feet. Six feet of additional room on the top of, on, on this platform, absolutely unbelievable. So let's talk about some of the other things that come standard with this Rotex S package, which is 300 horsepower twin engine Manitou pontoon boat. With the Rotex S twin engine pontoon, now standard is gonna be the black powder coated pontoons, which previously was almost a $6,000 upgrade that is now included. Also with the twin engine Rotex S is gonna have a docking system called the iDock, a joystick controlled system. It will automatically maneuver the the motors accordingly to what you're going to do. If you wanna maneuver into a dock or away from a dock, you're gonna have joystick control. If, I'm, if my memory is correct, a joystick controlled option on pretty much any twin engine boat can be upwards of $30,000 in itself, standard on this boat now with the twin engine Rotex motors. Also standard with this boat will be a 12 inch digital display. Uh, still powered by Garmin, but it's gonna look much more seamless customizability of the display is is phenomenal and will also include a much more powerful audio system right now it's still powered by fusion but it's going to have uh, increased wattage as well as a subwoofer they also have listened to their customers they have upgraded their wireless charging system to accommodate various brands and models of phones uh, for continuous charging while on the water so with the rotex 150s the twin engine model What's gonna happen is you're gonna have a, a hinged area here and a hinged area over each of the outer pontoons. The center area will, will no longer be hinged, that will be fixed. And when you trim up the motors, the outside will tilt up the same way as the current center one does. You will gain an additional link system. And again, this four foot deck now becomes six feet. The other thing we should mention is this will come up a little bit so when you're sitting on these back seats, these switch back seats, enjoying the back, rather than your feet kind of being down here, you're gonna be at more of, a, more of a straight out position. When you're entering the boat, this will still be the same. There will be a step up inside the boat that there is currently not to accommodate for that extra height of the max deck. So the extra height does provide for all the room that's needed under the deck for the engines. Uh, and again, the extra two feet also helps accommodate for the, the room for both engines. So why buy Manitou? Whether it's a single Rotex, a dual Rotex, or even uh, a standard outboard, there's a wide variety. What sets Manitou apart is very much an automotive style uh, design. It's a, it's a bold finish. Everything's aluminum. Uh, even all of your furniture inside is made from metal. The deck on this boat is made from a composite material, so no wood to rot out in the future. The entire bottom of the pontoon is actually skinned with aluminum to protect it from there as well. And if we come up front, it's a little bit hard to tell, but the center pontoon actually fit, sits about five inches to six inches lower than the other two tunes. So it gives you that cornering, gives you that handle, handling that you don't get in a normal pontoon. So, Manitou is really set apart for a number of different reasons. Uh, the max deck is game changing. The twin engine, 300 horsepower, joystick controlled uh, for a, under $125,000 starting price. 
is game changing. I can't think of a twin engine boat in that price range with joystick controls and all the features that this one comes with. Had the opportunity to tour Manitou factory, incredible clean facility, uh, pride in their workmanship, very much an automotive style assembly. When you're looking for a pontoon boat, check out Manitou, see what sets them apart. If you've got any questions about the Rotex in general, check out the other videos about this, this specific Manitou. Basically using the same platform, upping that power so you get the power and the max deck, which I know for some people, uh, they like the max deck, but the 150 horsepower wasn't enough power for them. Now you can have your cake and eat it too. As always, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment below. What are your thoughts on the all-new Manitou Pontoon Boat?